Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. I built another complex application using Caffeine AI on the internet computer and oh boy, oh boy, is this great. In this video, I will display the capabilities of the world computer ICP, Caffeine AI, artificial intelligence on the internet computer and much, much more. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, check my community here on OpenChat, one of the largest and most active communities on OC. Thank you very much. Now, let me show you my complex application deployed on the internet computer with Caffeine AI, the Bitcoin dominance indicator. I believe you have seen something similar. This is much better in my personal opinion as a data analyst and I will show you why, how I was able to build this using 10 to 15 prompts max. Very, very useful, very, very fast, quick, powerful tool, Caffeine AI compared, I did already show you, Lovable and other competitors. Now, there are many other open questions regarding Caffeine AI. Who is going to be paying for that? for the service, of course, those are going to be end users. How much is it going to cost? Is it going to be competitive versus Lovable, Replit and others that are providing a similar service in Web2? And many other questions. In this video, I just want to display the capabilities. If you, if you have seen um, a video from Bobby O, another content creator that I believe you already know very well, and he mentioned the same thing I really mentioned as well, that the internet computer surprised me with Caffeine AI. This is much, much, much better than what I have expected. He mentioned this is 12 months ahead of schedule in his book based on his expectations. I can say that I'm more or less in the same boat. After seeing the capabilities of Caffeine AI, I'm very, very impressed about the quality of this product. And so I believe this is going to be successful with marketing. Okay, so let's dive uh, into this indicator straight away. And by the way, I don't know any other analyst that has something similar built on Web2 platforms from what I know. Maybe there are, but not something that I would know at the moment, at least. So the Bitcoin dominance indicator track how 20 altcoins, which I have selected myself, by the way, excluding memes, wrap tokens and stable coins perform against Bitcoin. Here, I want to highlight two charts. ICP against Bitcoin, which is a very important chart, as you know, and the Bitcoin dominance chart. So two of the most important charts for ICP. However, this is not a dashboard solely for ICP. I have added a total of 20 altcoins. So Ethereum, XRP, Solana, Tron, Cardano, Sui, Stellar, Link, HBAR, AVAX, Litecoin, Toncoin, Polkadot, Aave, Bitensor Tau, Near Protocol, Aptos, ICP, Algorand, and Arbitrum. So you will not see the likes of Doge, of Sheeb, and meme, other meme coins. You will not see any sort of wrapped coins like a wrapped BTC or something like that. You will also not see the likes of Monero here. And this was just solely my personal choice uh, due to some issues with the API, which I'm not going to mention here. But this is going to be fixed uh, moving forward. And overall, the selection of tokens, I believe, is relevant. Those are very relevant projects in crypto at the moment, those with the highest market capitalizations. Now, here, very important, you can see live data. You can see their market cap in Bitcoin, okay, displayed in Bitcoin, the volume displayed in Bitcoin for the daily. You can see the valuation versus Bitcoin, daily performance, weekly, 30 day and one year. This is what the previous dashboard was missing. Now, on top of that, you have also performance rankings versus Bitcoin, very, very relevant if you are a fan of the Bitcoin dominance as me and you can track the performances of those on different timelines and it will highlight here in this first column the results on 30 day, one year seven days and 24 hours versus Bitcoin. So very, very uh, good to see, uh, very, very useful as you may see. And overall, if we move uh, to the bottom, 
data charts, metrics, and indicators powered by Zero to Hero and built using Caffeine AI. So uh, this tool is now live. It is optimized for mobile. I'm not going to release this to the public as of yet because this is going to be part of my Zero to Hero dashboard. So I'm going to create a dashboard with multiple tools. It will be easier to uh, generate a separate page for each single tool because it would be overly too complex to generate one single dashboard with 10, 15 tools in one go. So I will work on each single tool individually and then when I'm fully ready, when I have all the tools that I need, I'm going to integrate all of those using the links provided by Caffeine AI in one single dashboard. And this is going to be deployed to the public, to the ICP community for the use of many people that are data driven as I am. Guys, as I mentioned already, I have deployed already a dashboard on the internet computer using Caffeine AI. You have seen that it is public, it's not optimized. Many people told me it's not optimized for um, Android and uh, for iPhone. It is not because it does not have end users in mind. It has only one single user in mind, which is me at the moment. And this was built solely as a test. Now, uh, this now, it's also, I would say for now, or rather, it's not a test. This is already good enough in my book. Could be, of course, always better. Uh, if Caffeine AI will be significantly better in next versions, beta, and uh, when it's going to be deployed to the public, I could revamp this thing, but I have the links so I can still work on this perfectly, perfectly fine. The point of this video here is, guys, that you can build complex applications with 10 to 15 prompts, maybe even less than that, using Caffeine AI with uh, no issues. The tricky part about this dashboard was not, of course, the design, but was the APIs uh, that I had to test multiple different ones to see which one will give me real-time data for all these timelines. And I have tried multiple options. For now, I'm still going with Queen Gecko, which gave me uh, the last headaches uh, at the moment. I have tried Binance, which worked at some point, but then it didn't. And this is not the fault of Caffeine AI. It's really up to the APIs. And I'm not a developer, guys. I'm really a non-technical user that managed to deploy something like that on the internet computer. Now, the, the fun part, what you want to hear here as an investor, as a user of the internet computer. One, this is very usable and very good. Two, the only thing this is missing now is fixing bu bugs. Many people complaining, I did not get my invitation code and so on and so forth. Guys, the point here is not building something because most likely you will still have a bigger incentive to build when this is deployed to the public. The incentive now is to test troubleshoot and I had tons of error messages. I was troubleshooting myself and in the end I managed to deploy this. So Caffeine AI managed to solve these issues. It just takes patience. Uh, it just takes time, guys. So I was not gone all these days. I was very busy building on Caffeine AI something uh, very, very useful for the whole ICP community. So uh, I have seen many people with beautiful ideas regarding Caffeine AI and applications that are going to be very, very useful. Once this is launched, once this is public, if this is marketed properly to the vast audience, not only Web3, that is a very small closed bubble, but also Web2, displaying the capabilities of the world computer, the incentives, and also the quality of this product, I believe this is going to be a no-brainer for many new users and investors. But mainly here I'm focusing on usage. So I'm talking to you now as a user of this platform. And the main point here is, guys, this is much, much and much better than I have expected. Overall, guys, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, uh, let me know directly on open chat and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.